Oh, hello. How you doing, Salty? All right. <laughs> well, let's get going, shall we? Let's get going. Got a lot of reading to do. A lot of reading to do. Can't. All right, so we left off. We just came back seven years later. And then there's... I'm assuming a revolution that's going to be happening. Uh, the citizens passing aren't happy. Uh, so let's... No, don't do this to me. Got an encoding error. Okay. I hope it's done. Okay. Did you drop this? I don't think so. script looks beautiful on this. Oh no, it's the same people that wrote the letter from the beginning, I bet. You write that? Warned. Brother Piero basically said not to come back. Warning. Warned about what? I had to do with the murder that happened last time I was here. Yeah. Oh, I thought they caught the murderer. Yes, but it's complicated. Let's just head up to the library, Casper. Uh, Casper is my apprentice. Let's see where we have what we need to be doing here. Brother guy, oh, that's right. We got to go to the Abbot. The Abbey. Crazy dude, crazy dude, still up there. Yes, we got to go to the Abbey. Even though we were kicked out of it, we were asked to come now. since we've been here. Chris! Or the guy, what are you doing here? Father Grano has asked me to inform the townsfolk that the shrine is closed. Is everything going on? Whatever for? Father Abbot has ordered that we bring the hand... Pilgrims are still welcome to come in and visit the relic, but it's off limits to townsfolk. Uh, what? Why? The abbot had had enough of the peasants and townfolk rebelling against the abbey. He's a rightful lord. The abbot has more than more than generous, but he will not let his twelve articles, uh, twelve articles rival pass. The abbot refuses to leave the relic at the risk of destruction. The Hand of St. Moritz is the only thing keeping the Abbey open. Mm -hmm. Tassie relies about faith. So he's punishing the town further? I'll do what about the faith. Then they can stop engaging in such heretical and sinful behavior. Abbot is trying to protect the relic. Nothing more. No one wants to destroy the hand of Moritz, guy. Abbot is a cruel man, and you're no better defending him. 
I'll do my duty as vows and Lord commandments. God bless you. That rabbit over there? It's a butterfly by them. I thought the rabbit was peeing. <laughs> so, like, oh wow. I miss him singing. Oh, there he is. Andreas. Oh, it's wonderful to see you again. How have things been uh, for you in Nuremberg? Actually, been in London recently. Uh, Nuremberg's the same as always. Oh, well, it's good to see you in any case. Forgive for asking, but how did you find the music in London? Lovely. King Henry is an avid supporter of musicians and plays a number of instruments himself. Oh, interesting. I knew he was a defender of the church, but did not realize he was a musician as well. I love our music, of course. I'm interested in what is being created across Christendom. I suppose you came to pay your respects to Brother Piero. So sorry, Andreas. He was a wonderful man and a faithful servant of Christ. That he was. Well, despite the occasion, it was good to see you again. God bless you, Andreas. You. You! My dwarfish friend. Alright. Uh, is it... Need to go to Scriptorium? Oh, you're still alive. Hey, Doc. Oh, who is this? It's Andreas, brother, hey, Doc. Andreas. Uh, Andreas Maller. Oh. Oh, Andreas. Fine young artist from Nuremberg. That's uh, quite, uh, not quite so young anymore, brother. No, you're still young. You're... When you were last here, I thought I was old. I was wrong. Now I feel a true measure of years on these bones. Like the waves of the wide sea on the cliffs of Port Cragen, time has worn me down. But enough of that. How have you been? God has blessed me with a good fortune. Good. Be sure to share that with others when you're able. seem to be more at ease now than when I was here last. Why? Maybe so. May have worked in the scriptorium beyond the limits of his of this body. It pained my joints and strained my brotherly love for Guy. <laughs> yeah. The scriptorium took my sight and the use of my hands, but when it closed, it also took the pain from my heart. The abbot is content to let me serve the Lord through prayer and contemplation. And so it also contents me. Sorry, Andreas, but I must rest now. It's good to hear your voice at Curacao again. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Adoc. You're back. Hello. That's all you have to say, hello? Uh, of course. God bless you, sister. Still an ass, I see. <laughs> She's mad. Still, I hear you're a master artist now. I'm impressed. You know, I've grown as well in a variety of ways. Oh, you have to show me sometime. I'm not indulging you again. Is it that bad? <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't. But what happened afterward was bothersome. Thank God Sister Gertrude knows her plans. I don't... Oh. I feel pregnant. Oh, God. I would have been a dad. Yes, thankfully Sister Gertrude helped me 
And it was uh, before Fortnite had passed, so the fetus was yet. Uh, what herbs did she give you? Bandrake? Edderport? We have a few other things. Oh, and Dittany. It's disgusting. Sister Gertrude Remedy hasn't worked. It would have been uh, defrocked. My family would have disowned. Nearly lost everything. All for one stupid fling with you. I was sick for days on end. I still have terrible cramps, but still not as bad as it could have been. Grateful Sister Gertrude? Me too. And that was a good night. I still remember Mother Illumina's face. Her expression was illuminating. Oh, God. <laughs> you should have heard the uh, tongue wig she gave me afterwards. Quite impressive. It's good to see you again, Andreas. Likewise, Sister. I should return to my duties. Thank you for speaking with me. Till later. The scriptorium fell into disrepair quickly after Father Grinnell closed the library. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I'm just here? God bless you, Andreas. It has been too long. I know Father Abbott made it clear you were not to return when you left, but we had hoped to hear from you. Yes, my apologies. You're right, of course. It's good to see you again, Mother Illuminata. This is my apprentice, Casper Ziegler of Salisbury. I want to see you, Mother Superior. No greeting for your favorite library helper? Good to see you, sister. It is a lot of reading. You as well. It's basically like reading a book. That's what this is. Sorry to see... Uh, you have to see it in such a state. It's very little use these days. What happened? After Baron Rothfogel's mur murder, we had uh, fewer and fewer wealthy patrons. A small number that held out lost interest. It's easier to commission new work from the Guild of St. Luke for individual masters in big cities like Nuremberg. Father Grinnell saw no reason to keep the scriptorium or library open. Most of the books here have been suffering of neglect. After Mother Cecilia's death, neither I nor Sister Zel Zedna... Zedina? I don't know how to pronounce that. Had a time to maintain our inventory. Oh, it's terrible. Curacao was one of the last monastic scriptoria area. As Brother Piero was fond of saying, all things change in time. And all that remains are books for sale for interested parties, a task that Father Grinnell has entrusted. And sister. Well, of course. Looking, uh, I'm eager to look through your inventory. I suggest maybe you could find a book... For little Magdalene, something that's not printed, not in print yet. Excellent idea. Fine. Cards of all, perhaps Klaus would not object to this romance given its emphasis on Christian virtue. German is a little dated, but I'm sure she'll figure it out with Klaus's help. Who knows? Maybe it'll inspire her imagination. Uh, I think these are Latin translations of some uh, origins homilies. Also looks like uh, it's partially burned. Probably not a great gift for a young... Wait. This is the same book can the notes that I found when the Baron was murdered. Whoever wrote this is responsible for writing the notes. I need to ask Luminata about this. Okay. A 
copy uh Jacobus the Borograins Golden Legend. Every good Christian should know the legends of these of the saints. And the Latin is simple enough that she should be able to read it for long. Richard de Bury's Philobiblion. There's a text on the collection and preservation of books. Maybe this is where Illuminati Cecilia learned the tricks. Certainly a good book for a printer's daughter. Am I just gathering all these books? <coughs> I don't know what they're going to charge me. That was free because I don't have any way of having money. Bertus Magnus, the Anabolus. Essentially the bestiary, but it contains so much more knowledge on a variety of topics. It can inspire an interest in animals and natural and natural world. Beautiful illustrations as well. Looks like about everything. Let's go talk to Illuminata. Let's try to go down the stairs though. Have you decided any books to purchase? Yes, just one. Just one? Um... What was the name of the one that uh, had the writing? Um, is it Parzival? Romance? <laughs> I'm a bit surprised. I'm not. Yes, well, it's yours if you want, of course. It's for Klaus Drucker's daughter, Magda. That's even less appropriate, but not my concern. <laughs> Oops. I hope she enjoys it. Is there anything else you need? Yes, bring up the book. What do you know about this book? I don't know anything. This is the first time I've seen it. Where did you find it? Yeah, I got smut for a kid. Wonder I don't have a kid on this game. <laughs> I've seen it on one of the lower shelves. I don't think it's in our catalog. It's burned around the edges. Why? How can I find out where it came from? I wrote it. If it's not in our catalog, I'm afraid I don't know who you could ask. If it's a recent addition, the only people who would know are Mother Cecilia and Father Matthias. That's a shame because whoever scribed this book wrote the letters I found while investigating the Baron's murder. One's in fine book hand? Brother Adok told me about them. Perhaps he knows something about this book. He's been here longer than any of us. Why would the person who wrote the letters have scribed a book in our library? Well, that's the question. Whoever did it is the thread pillar. Paul? Someone who's manipulating people at Curacao and Tassi, pulling the threads to provoke someone into killing the Baron. I thought one of the brothers killed the Baron. Good. The Baron was lured in Chapter House by someone who knew Kirasa and Tassing's secrets. I'm afraid we can't be any more help uh, to determining the book's providence. However, it is not in our catalog and is already damaged. I doubt Father Abbott would mind if he left it. Excellent. Thank you, and I'm glad someone bothered to save it from the Interesting. Here, I originally thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was Guy that would have done it. Eat with the Druckers. Because uh, Guy was the one who wrote the script of all the books. Like, I and Piero, uh, we were the ones that were, uh, that were drawing the pictures for the books. Guy was writing the script, and I thought it was him. 
Because he's the one that wrote it all. The words. But... I hate you, guy. I don't think I have anything else to do. No, just that. Okay. The story is good in this. I really like the story. I'm really interested to know further who's doing all the killings. Is it commons? I can't I can never remember what these guys are at. I don't think they're here. They're not the Gertners. Must I must have to go up. There we go. Church and Brockers. That's right here. Looks like she's uh pregnant. I heard a kitty. Where are you? Uh -oh. Wait. We got a smut book for like a three-year-old? Oh no, I don't want to leave. Back in, the, back in the house. People in the house are like, what the hell's wrong with you? Bah. You're back. Good. We're almost ready to sit down and eat. You and Casper care to join us. Of course, thank you. Welcome back. These are my friends, Benjamin and Rachel Summerfield. They're on their way back to Prague. Good day. Hello, excuse me for not getting up. A bit difficult. Of course, I understand. It's nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> That sounded like real word, Klaus. She's learning more of them every day. She'll be reading before long. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a wonderful segue to the gift that I brought her. Oh, I got her porn. When is her birthday? Later this month. See, it's perfect. Hard of all, I'm sure she'll love this. Might make some good bedtime reading. <laughs> I like that. Thanks for this. It's a nice thought. Should probably pray before we eat, assuming summer fields don't mind. Not at all. We're accustomed to being guests in Christian homes. Thank you for asking. All right. I'll lead the prayer then. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we're about to receive from the fountain. Christ, O Lord, amen. All right, what are we eating? What? Boss, thank you again for letting us stay here. It's been such a long trip. Oh. The time? Uh, no, I'm fine. I think. Just sore everywhere. Anyway. We hoped to get home weeks ago, but the fighting has made it slow progress for me, so. I think it's hardly on the way to Prague. We'd rather not get caught up in the battles between Swabian League and peasants. So we've taken a stranger, strange route. We're in Basel to do some business, but we didn't want to overstay our welcome. Yes, unfortunately, I witnessed their tolerance of for Jews when I spent my... on the Hare? Oh, I'm familiar with the printer, Johan Froben. How could I not be? He's a true Basil. He turned Basil into the pride of Swiss printing. He has incredible artists working for him. All true. And we certainly don't mind that he publishes his book in here. 
That's why we visited. Veg and I are creating Hebrew type for him. Turns out that when your own town banishes all the Jews, you have more difficulty on finding Jews for you. Who could have guessed? I just wish it hadn't taken us so long to get home. I have so far to go still. It's lucky timing for me, though. Now that I have two printers and a master artist, I might get it. True. It's an all misfortune. Daddy. Oh, yes, thank you. And a future printer is a baby printer to be. Cassine hasn't seen this many artists under one roof for a while. It's amazing how far printing has come so quickly. Some of the engravings I've seen are incredible. And new techniques, new types, new styles being developed every year. Benjamin is trying to create a more readable script. -ish. We have typefaces for Hebrew, but it would be nice to have something separate for Yiddish. I suppose that would be a little easier to read than the Hebrew square type. Yes, exactly. Spoken like a man who understands the value of legibility. We expect our rabbis and boys in Shabbat to read Hebrew in the standard type, but it's too difficult for others. I'd like writing to be more accessible, especially for those who are Yiddish. Yeah, it looks so much better. I'm sure to send you some samples when I finish class. Good. I like the... I'm... Yeah, I'm fine. Boss, what are you working on? Needs to get ready to sell to travelers as the passes is, our pass is open, but lay been printing for the 12 articles for town. 12 articles. Thanks to Father Thomas, everyone in town can read at least well enough to make it through that sheet. It's got a lot of people talking, and a lot are coming over to Otto's way of thinking. We've heard of him. Uh, yeah, you've heard of him yourself, Andreas. What do you think? What's happening in Tassing? Uh, I think the abbot's a difficult position, and he's just trying to find a way through it. No, he's been an ass. You're not wrong. Remember what happened to Attila's house? The abbot took it away. She lost everything. She works for Father Thomas now. Uh, she what? I was surprised as you are now. We're all were, but that's the only charitable uh, available to her. A poor lady. Sorry, not trying to bring up bad memories. I was just trying to say that things have been hard on the peasants for years. It's gotten worse lately. The Abbey is in such a bad state, there must be someone the Abbot can appeal for. Could try to sit down with Otto and work it out. That makes sense. Otto tried to reason with him. The abbot will listen. All right, what are we eating? White bread, ap apple pie, mushroom porridge. Yeah. We're sympathetic to what's happening here. We saw it through Swabia. Peasants are suffering. It's true. But I worry about what happened to Tassin. Ow! I'm gonna pop that baby out, isn't she? I'm fine. Peasants are no match for soldiers of the Swabian. It's a Swabian leaf. Swabian nobility meant to keep peace in the Empire. To robbery, murder, Outraged, they are line, uh, line name governance, and where they make a desert, they call it. Peace. 
My wife reads a surprisingly amount of Roman history. The rabbis won't let me read scripture, so what do you expect me to do in the house full of books? I know that Otto and the peasants are taking a risk, but I believe Otto will think. Anyway, it's not the Swabian League we have to worry about, but the soldiers of Duke Bavaria. Bavaria. The Prince Bishop has the church's authority. <laughs> I still can't get over him. I have a smut book for <laughs> uh, But the Duke's lands surround Tassin and Kyrsau. I'm sorry for never writing back. What happened here in Tassin and Kyrus, I just wanted to forget. Ah, uh, you have every right to be angry. I traveling so much, I missed most of your letters. So much time passed when I finally heard about Bert and Marie. I'm sorry. This is it. This is it. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We can't travel now. This will be. This is all my fault. We should never have left Basil. We should have left Basil earlier. I love you, Benjamin, but be quiet. I don't care. I need help. Yes, we need a midwife. Is there one except Rachel? Agnes? Did you get her? Yes, I should get her. Agnes has delivered every child in Tassin as long as I can remember. She would never turn a woman away. Thank you so much. No for the thanks. Give me the midwife. Yes. Andreas, you're forgiven. Casper, it was good to have you over. You both have to leave. Thank you. Good luck, Rachel. Thank you, I need it. Yeah, you will. Go fetch Agnes. Thank you for joining us, Andreas. I almost forgot. You should see these bonfire preparations in town commons. You missed them on your last visit. Klaus! I'm going. <laughs> Thank you, Klaus. We'll be going. Just keep having a conversation there. Take care. <laughs> 